Good morning. This is what my first time thing in the morning hair looks like. <laughs> Not that different than normal. Like, yeah, it's just crazy all over the place. Anyway, it's 9.30ish a.m. Sunday, April 18th. It is my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. Um, as I said in last week's vlog, for the moment, she's stable. She's in care at in skilled nursing. They are uh, monitoring her while they remove her from her blood thinners. She is a diabetic cardiac patient, so she's on blood thinners. They're removing her from the blood thinners and monitoring her for seven days. So they can then do a procedure she needs on her spine. Yeah, so I'll let y'all know how that goes. Um, the dementia, you know, some days are better than others. Well, the dementia and or her mobility issues improve once the spinal procedure is done. Uh, I don't there's no telling, uh, maybe, we'll see. Anyway, um, I don't think we're planning on doing anything today, although I've been for the last 24 hours thinking there was something we were going to do today. I didn't write it down, so I don't know what it was. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. So if we end up just staying home, I think I'm going to edit the vlog and do the weekly writing a day early. Um, and just, you know, doing laundry, do a couple journal pages, stuff like that. If I can't remember what it was I was supposed to do, which I have, I have no clue. I'm completely clueless this morning. So anyway, I'm going to turn on the computer. Then I guess I'll go get dressed and take a shower and all that stuff. And we'll take it from there. All right. I'll be back. Okay, vlog is edited and saving and I need to get some more water. <laughs> I think it's lunchtime. Let's see. Yes. Well, just about a couple minutes before. So. I'm gonna get, have some lunch, finish working on the laundry. We don't really need to go anywhere today. I still think there was something we were gonna do and I, for the life of me, do not know what it is. It's just gonna be one of those days, I think. I'll be back. Monday morning, April 19th. I only know that because it's the day after my mom's birthday and it is 10.02 a.m. Clock says 9.02, but I know the clock is an hour off. So it's 10.02-ish a.m. I don't think the clock's exactly right to me anyway. Uh, we're gonna go out and just run a couple of errands. I don't really need anything big, but I need to get steps in. Um, I need to go grab a couple things at Dollar Tree. I don't really want to walk over there and carry them back. I don't mind walking the neighborhood, but I don't really want to walk and go shopping. Like that's, yeah, so I'm gonna walk the neighborhood probably later with Bob and I'll go get some steps in this morning. Kind of just killing time at the shops. I need a couple of bins for uh, one of the closets upstairs and 
I might hit a thrift store or something. I don't know. We'll see. Am I the only one that when your glue stick gets to be empty and you just have this left and there's glue in there, <laughs> you don't want to throw it away. So I took a, a glue stick that was just down to this and I didn't throw it away. I saved it. And then the next time I had another one that was like this, I just kept putting it in here. And I'm going to keep doing that until this glue stick is full and save the glue. This is just saved glue from these. Because <laughs> glue sticks are, well, they're not super expensive, but I use Yoohoo and it's kind of hard to find. And so I know I'm cheap, right? But yeah. So I got my mid-month mini missions done. I will be sharing them in the mission inspiration group later tonight. If you want to see what I'm doing, you're going to have to go over there because I ain't going to show you. Ha! <laughs> um, I'll put the link for Mike Deacon's mission inspiration group down below. Um, I thought I would take his mini missions and try to do them a different way than what I would normally do. And yes, doing some artwork with them, which I did. Um, I used my water soluble. Now I cleaned my hands. Now I can't get the drawer open. Um, Pilot Varsity pens. I've got them. They come in different colors. I have them, I think all the colors. Um, I use these. And when you add water to them, you get kind of a watercolory look. I can show you that. So I did some drawing with that. And then the main focus though of each, where am I? There I am. The main focus of each mini mission so far is actually writing and not drawing or artwork. Although writing is a creative art form on its own and I'm not super great at it, but for some reason I've been writing. So I don't know what the deal is with that. If you follow me over in my art groups on Facebook, you already know that. And um, if you don't, the links for the my Facebook groups, my Instagram, my Etsy shop, my Patreon, all of that stuff is in my link tree list of links, which is down in the description below, along with my Art Foamy link. And because I designed for Art Foamies. And what else? Uh, the link for the class I'm teaching with Bay Rock. So I have the first four mini missions. I have put them in this little envelope. I'm going to do like a tag. I've cut some scrap mixed media paper that I'm going to use. And yeah. That was a lot of fun. All right, that's it for the minute. I don't know. I don't know what else I'm going to do right now, but I don't know. We'll see. I'll be back.
Okay guys, it is after two o'clock. I honestly have no idea what time it is and it was just after two when I walked out the front door and then I started chatting with a neighbor and now I, know I have no idea. Uh, it is Tuesday, April 20th, I believe. Good topic, I did spend the morning painting and got a bunch more paintings done. Some I'm happier with than others, but I'm gonna think scan them all, turn them into stickers. Um, or at least most of them. The question for you all I have is, leave it in the comments below. On this picture here of these two yellow faces, I made a photocopy of the original. Do you like it in the original form where it's just paint? Or do you like it with the black outlining? Let me know down below. All right. And I guess the fact that I made a couple color copy and drew on the color copy and I didn't draw right away on the original, probably tells me what my, what my answer should be if I wasn't comfortable doing it on the original. Anyway. You know, there's just something about finding a beautiful spot to sit down outside and take a breather. That's good for the soul, I think. So we got David's bridal in Beaverton uh, for Mother of the Bride alterations, and my daughter's gonna get her wedding dress altered too. So, it's pretty fun. All right, I'll be back. It's Wednesday, April 21st, I think. 2.30ish. I don't know. It's been a crazy day again. I forgot to vlog this morning. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is 10.25 a.m. Thursday, April 22nd. Is that right? Yes. I got it right. I had to think about the time because the clock is still off. I haven't fixed it yet. Uh, we are headed out to the grocery store to get that done and get some errands like that done. We get our second Pfizer shot on Saturday, so we're gonna be stocking up on things like ginger ale and crackers in case we really feel like poop. I think we've got Tylenol. We have water's not an issue. Um, hopefully we don't need more than that, but I guess we'll find out. I uh, also spent some time this morning sending out texts and emails to people to get somebody to come do yearly maintenance in the woods behind our house and the, our neighbor's houses. There's a row of us that are up against the woods and I'm just getting nowhere with the people who own the property, the school district. So I sent off a text this morning to the HOA president. I don't know that there's anything she can do, but it's worth an inquiry, I think. So anyway. That's the focus of our day. Exciting, I know. <laughs> All right, we're also gonna be experimenting later today or tomorrow with making homemade ice cream, which we haven't done in a really long time. So we'll let you know how that goes. All right, I'll be back. So yes, we're doing that. We haven't used the ice cream maker attachment in a really long time. In ever. In ever. Like a million years? It's been a long time. We a have million, used it before, but it's been a really long time since we made any homemade ice cream. Exactly. I think I think our daughter was a very young teenager the last time we did this, and she's 26. It's gonna be 27, right? Got it, yeah. But yeah, so we're making mint chocolate chip first, which is Rebecca's favorite, and then we're gonna do like a chocolate chip cookie dough. Yep. So I don't know if we're gonna do both today because we might have to refreeze the bowl again. Yep. So we're gonna do the mint today and then probably the cookie dough tomorrow morning. Yeah. We haven't done much else. Well, I shouldn't say that. I haven't done much else. Bob was out trying to work in the garden. He got the pond clean and- We'll check it out. Yeah, we'll go out there and look at it. But yeah, he's been working out in the yard, talking to the gardener about doing some re-landscaping. So we need to go get some pictures of things we like. Uh, let me show you the pond. Hold on, the water feature. On and clean and working. And I don't, I don't think it's leaking. Yeah, there's our little duck. Where's our turtle? Oh, there he is. Hiding. Hiding down there. So yeah. Yeah, it looks great. I'm glad it's running. 
the new doors to be on here with the screen on them. Then we'll have be able to have them open when the weather is nice and we'll be able to hear the pond. That'll be nice, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, we're pretty happy with the backyard landscaping and have been since we moved in. But the front is just needing work. And the sprinklers aren't working very well. And I'm pretty sure our gardener is right that there's too many sprinkler heads and not enough water pressure to get all the heads to work the way they should. And he, he said there should be no more than like six or seven per, or per zone, yeah, or five or six. And there's like 14, which explains why the front yard sprinklers just are not working right. So I think if Bob can't figure out how to fix it, I hear more ka sounds. So I guess we'll see. Anyway, we'll see. I hope we're not locking ourselves out of the house. No, I made sure. Okay, good. <laughs> Fun fact, it wouldn't be the first time I did that at here or the old house. <laughs> yeah, don't get me started. All right, we're gonna go back to making ice cream. I'll Good be back. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday morning, April 23rd. Yeah, 9.34 a.m. Getting a little bit later start than I intended. Um, and Bob is off again today. So we need to make another batch of homemade ice cream and then I need to run an Etsy order to the post office and we need to pick up some more stuff to make more ice cream later over the weekend and pick up a dessert for the son-in-law because he doesn't like mint chocolate chip ice cream, but our daughter does, which is the flavor Bob made. And we won't have enough time to refreeze the ice cream bowl um, before they come to dinner tonight. So anyway, blah, 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 blah. So discovered, and we've been noticing for a while now a foul odor. I at least for a brief hot second thought maybe we had a gas leak, but we didn't have a gas leak. Um, wasn't sure what it was, maybe a pack of skunks in the woods. We do live next to the woods, so I wasn't sure. Uh, we found it last night. So there's a dead deer in the woods next door to our property. And yeah, it's real unfortunate. So last night I called the school and left a message for them. And then I called the sheriff's department and talk to somebody over there. I'm expecting one or both of them is going to reach out to me today and or show up today. At least I would hope so. No guarantees, but Bob said if they don't call by noon, make some more phone calls. So that's what we'll be doing. Um, a dead animal next to the property like that is an omen of change. If you believe in those sort of things and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but makes me a little nervous to be off fair. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, we also get our first COVID shot tomorrow. So that has me nervous. Like everything has me nervous. Let's be honest. I'm just a big ball of nerves. <sighs> Breathe, right? Okay, I'm going to finish my coffee. We're going to make some ice cream. We're going to go run a couple of errands. And then... You know, gonna go for a walk or something, do a little art maybe. Yeah, just like relax and chill and have a good day till the kids come over or try to. That's it for the minute, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. Did we look tired? There might be a reason for that. Um, it is Saturday morning, April 24th, 9.21 a.m. We are headed to the Nike Center in Beaverton for our second COVID shot. So, and we will vlog as much of it as we can to give all of you an idea who haven't had your vaccine yet, what to expect. Not everybody has the same reaction, but you know, give you some kind of idea. We're getting Pfizer. Uh, for the first one to review, we got very mild effects um, kind of like um, when you have the flu shot, you're just kind of achy all over, uh, kind of felt like we had either bad allergy attack um, or a mild hangover, um, had a, a little bit of a headache, some congestion, and I my eyes were really itchy. Now, to be fair, was that the shot or just because it's spring? Well, who knows, because we both have allergies. Um, this morning, we've already taken some allergy pills because we're already having, we woke up sneezing. So that has nothing to do with getting the shot. Now, I, we did, I did read up and it said that if it's medication that you would normally take to go ahead and take it, which we did. 
um, we're not taking it to stave off side effects of the shot and there um, is not enough data to say that that works anyway. Um, and they're recommending if you do get a headache or achy pains or anything afterwards that to try not to take medication because that's just your immune system's response to the shot and trying to build up immunity. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know. I don't know if we can accomplish that, but we'll see how it goes. So we're going to go over to Nike Center and get jabbed. And then we are planning on doing nothing but being couch potatoes the rest of the weekend. Um, unless somebody actually comes by to do something about the dead deer carcass on the other side of our fence, which stinks. Yeah, that's a thing. All right, we'll be back. our second shot and that hurt a little more than the first one going in um, and it's funny they put a post-it note on the windshield see the little green post-it note right there and I guess that's our, our release from jail time <laughs> you know you have to wait 15 minutes after you get the shot to make sure there's no anaphylactic reaction and there's a time on there and I guess we're not allowed to leave before the time oh, is on that sticky 10, 11, note and then it's 10 so yeah we'll so we have 11 more minutes anyway but we got it all said and done and we're gonna get out of here and go home and be potatoes the rest of the Veg. weekend veg yeah all right i'll be back okay, vaccine update so it's been a few hours since our shot and there's no injection site redness and we're not feeling any really side effects other than being a little tired um not really noticing anything different it is funny that the first time we got our first shot we had issues with my old Subaru. I have a 2011 Subaru Outback. Um, we got a nail in the tire. So the, today there appears to be a leak in the weather stripping around the passenger side door or, or the sunroof or something on the passenger side. So there was a little bit of a drip because of course it's raining inside the car. I'm gonna just take that as a good omen. <laughs> I don't know. But that means we won't no, no, yet. We won't be having any side effects. I don't know. Um, we did get the Pfizer vaccine. And according to the CDC, that means we should be fully immune or as much as we can be one week from today. With If you have Moderna, it's two weeks. So, yay us. Okay. But we're feeling fine. So, Bob's doing some stuff in his office and then he's going to check on the leak in the car. I don't know, cover the car with plastic. There's no room for it in the garage. Um, and then we might go for a walk. So we'll see. I'll be we back. feel so good after a second COVID shot. And a few, it's a few hours after, it's like three o'clock or so, that we are out thrifting and garage sailing. And right now we're gonna go into Curiosities, which is the local vintage and antique store. And then, I don't know, go home and be potatoes? I don't know, we're walking around. Hey we'll guys, it is, what time is it? 6.29 p.m., uh, still Saturday, and um, we did go out, as you saw, and do a little thrifting and antiquing, which we haven't done in forever. Um, that was fun. We hit an estate sale um, that was near here. I honestly didn't think we'd go to because of getting the COVID shot. I thought we were gonna feel like crap. We actually don't feel too bad. In fact, we have a, a little bit of arm soreness and head congestion, for lack of a better word. Yeah. Um, it's not too bad though. It's not nearly as bad as the first shot, at least not yet. And it's been, our shots were just before 10 a.m. and it's now 6.30. Um, I'm a little cold, but that has nothing to do with the shot. I don't have a fever. It's just because it's cold outside and a little cold in the house. So we've got the fireplace going. Um, so it's not too bad. The next few hours we'll be telling and we'll see what happens. But I expect by Monday we're going to be fine. And I also expect if we were going to have a really bad reaction, we would have had it already, which we didn't. So I will let you all know um, how it goes. I may add... Um, Sunday to this vlog here so that you all have uh, an idea of um, what our experience is with the COVID vaccine. Again, we had the Pfizer vaccine. Um, so good morning, people. This is for 
uh, the vlog ending on April 24th. This is a little bit of a Sunday update to our second shot COVID vaccine. Uh, I actually feel fine. Uh, my arm's a little bit sore, but I'm holding the camera, or I should say phone up with my left arm, which is where I got my shot. So it's not that sore. Bob, on the other hand, is headachy, sore, tired. He's definitely having more side effects than I am, but they're mild and they're not any worse than they were with shot number one, which we described as sort of bad allergy attack, mild hangover symptoms. Uh, I haven't found them to be any worse than that. I don't remember if I checked the mail yesterday, so we're doing that. Nope, I didn't. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's our experience with the shot. Everybody's experience is different, but I wanted to give you all an update. I'm fine. Uh, Bob is getting better and um, I got to remind him to drink some water because staying hydrated is helpful. And uh, yeah, it's all good otherwise. All right, that's it for right now. Um, so when you get yours, you um, have an idea of what to maybe expect. Everybody's experience with the shot is different. Um, so yeah, it's been interesting. Right now that humming in the background, that machine noise is the KitchenAid because we're making homemade ice cream. And cause you know, I need that like I need a hole in the head, but you know, got to make it. Um, we've got dinner in the oven and some salad ready to go on the, maybe you can probably see the bowls on the counter there. And uh, yeah, so it's just going to be a quiet evening in and tomorrow too is going to be a quiet evening. I did get this cute little 300 piece puzzle. I may sit in the game room and do that tomorrow. I'll film that for next week's vlog. And um, I do like to puzzle, fun fact. Um, I like to watch Karen Puzzles, too, the YouTube channel. If you don't know who she is, I'll link it down below. Anyway, uh, it's been an interesting week. But, you know, decade of COVID, decade of Mondays, you know. Anyway, I hope you've all survived, that you're doing well, that you're staying safe, happy, healthy, and please wear a mask. Um, if you would like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, there's lots of different ways to do that. Check out the um, video description, including the link tree list of links and everything else that's down there. Um, there's links to my art foamies uh, that I've designed for them. There's links to uh, the class I'm teaching with Bea Grob. That has nothing to do with COVID. That's just me being tired. Um, the class I'm teaching with Bea Grob, there's a link down there. It starts in June. And what else? What else? What else? Uh, my Etsy store, the Patreon, and all of that stuff, it's all down there. So check it out. You can follow me on Instagram and all of that stuff too. See what I'm up to on a daily basis. And uh, yeah, please uh, remember to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Have a good time. Say please and thank you. But just be kind to one another. Can we do that? All right. That's it for right now. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.